Ruby, Volume 4, Chapter 4, Family. What's up, guys? Amalgam Wildcard here. So, the last episode, we focused on Blake and how she was on a boat, uh, I guess fleeing the White Fang, although she said, uh, for now, so obviously she will go after them again later. But uh, she bumped into San, who's been following her since the fall of Beacon. Uh, fall of Beacon, heh <laughs> But uh, uh, <laughs> I guess he is now going to be accompanying, accompanying her <laughs> on her journey. So um, we also saw Yang who is dealing with the loss of her arm and the team splitting up. Uh, although a new robot, I don't want to say robot, robot arm, uh, a new metal arm uh, came in the mail. It was shiny, but she didn't try it on. She, she's still depressed, and that's understandable. Because, I mean, if I would have lost my arm, I'd be walking around not sure what to do either but uh we also saw Salem at the end uh questioning Cinder if she has killed Osmond and she said yes but I know you lie you lie through your teeth because Osmond is alive and I know it uh there was also a big water dragon grim that uh Blake and Son Son I keep forgetting how to say it Son or Son but uh and a boat crew uh, killed a dragon grim, which, like I said in the last chapter, I thought was odd, since uh, one dragon grim destroyed Beacon and made everybody flee. Granted, that was most likely uh, far more powerful than the dragon we got in the last episode, but uh, I still thought it was funny or odd, I think the word I used was odd, that it only took a huntsman, a huntress, and a boat ramming it to kill it. Although that was a pretty big boat. But, uh, based on this thumbnail, it looks like this will focus more on Yang this chapter. So, let's not waste any time and get to it. Go. Still early. <laughs> I'm trying to get energized, but there's the dude again. Yeah, some people have been saying in other reactions what the significance of this random guy is. And some people think it's Ozpin reincarnated. Are we going to hear him speak? Yes. I think it is Ozpin. I thought they were right. No. I think they are right. 
did Ozpin reincarnate? Is this random kid? Hello, I'm Professor Ozpin. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. So, okay, now I'm just confused. Were they right or what? This is just odd, too. Uh oh. She's doomed. And she died. <laughs> the end. Put on the arm. Do it. Embrace your destiny. Ah, uh, well. Oh! Is that a... Oh! Crap, it's a... Wearing a skirt. Uh, dang it, I don't remember their names. Uh, Porter, I think. No, he told him it was a kilt. He'd never worn a uniform before, so he didn't know. Oh, that is terrible. Crap, I don't know what his name is. Hey, the girls all said he had nice legs. I did that jerk a favor. Oh. Besides, that's not even the best part. See, then we... Like what you see? <laughs> Good witch. To restore Beacon to its uh, former glory. The woman. But Mistral wasn't built in a day. And we all need some rest from time to time. Yeah, look, let's not worry about that right now. So, there we were, standing in the auditorium, looking at Crow wearing a skirt. Then Oz tells everyone it's time to work on our landing strategy. <laughs> <laughs> the Broadway twins have always been interesting, to say the least. That sure didn't seem to stop young Ty. <laughs> hey, come on, man. She's right here. Oh, please. She's a mature young woman. If she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. That's not the <laughs> issue, Pete. And besides, she's still a teenager. She is also in the room and can be directly spoken to. And I think I've been through enough to be considered an adult at this point. Me? Dang Adult right. or not, you still got a long way to go before you're ready for the real world. Oh my gosh, does every father figure just have the same three condescending phrases? Yeah, but we only use them when we mean it. Is that so? As a matter of fact, it is <laughs> so. <laughs> if you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, <laughs> well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. Ouch. Jerk! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm talking about the Goliath in the room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Shaula. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, why haven't you tried on the arm yet? No, oh, yes, yes. A piece of atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver it here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. Does she um, won't return to normal? Scared. Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal. 
and I appreciate it, but this is normal now. Mm -hmm. It's just taking me a while to get used to it. Well, normal is what you make of it. What is that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone. And it's never coming back. You're right. It's not coming back. But that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. You're hmm. Yang Xiao Long. My sunny little dragon. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there, I'll be there for you. I... Fear I... is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It's all in how you handle it. Why, even I find myself wrestling with that emotion from time to time. Really? You? He's afraid of mice. They bring only disease and famine! <laughs> and don't even get me started on their tails! It kind of sounds like Eric from Blind Wave. Natural. I'm starting to lose it. There's no mice here right now. She's finally smiling. Oh. Do it. Try it on. Maybe a while before we return. There is still much work to be done at the school. I hesitate to ask, but is there any word from young Miss Rose? Not yet. Have you thought about going after her? If I can bring her home? <sighs> I've got to look after some things. Hmm. Team Ranger. Of course it'll be there. This one's supposed to be pretty big. He can fit Bana. He gone Bana. It's a well-protected village with a popular inn. Which means no camping in the rain. See, everything's gonna be fine. Until you know, it's destroyed. We've had a lot of ups and downs, but things could be a lot worse. I really thought we'd see more grim. As did I. I kept our luck <laughs> Nope. That's his dad. Crow, hey. So he's been following them. Interesting. So that's why they haven't been seeing any Grim. He's been following them and protecting them. Luck. Hmm. Does he think they can't do it on their own? Yep, Crow's just sitting there watching him. Oh, I didn't. From the woman upstairs. Red eyes. Says uh -oh. you wouldn't mind bottom shelf. Thanks. But I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. <laughs> Mother. Hello, brother. A brother? Never mind. <laughs> I wait. A raven. 
It is the mother. He's just her brother. So, what do you want? A girl can't just catch up with her family. She can, but you're not. Now, how about we get on with it? Unless you plan on keeping these coming. Does she have it? Have what? Did you know Yang lost her arm? That's not a rhetorical true. question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you bring up family and carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her. Once. Because that was your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. Mm -mm. I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. I told you Ozpin would fail, and he has. Now you tell me, does Salem have it? I thought you weren't interested in all of that. <laughs> I just want to know what we are up against. And which we are you referring to? Come back, Raven. The only way we beat her is by working together. All of us. You're the one who left. The tribe raised us, and you turned your back on them. They were killers and thieves. They were your family. You have a very skewed perception of that word. I lead our people now. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. I saw. The people of Shion saw too. The weak die. The strong live. Those are the rules. Well, you certainly got someone strong on your side. I've seen the damage. We couldn't have known the Grim would set in as quickly as they did. I'm not talking about the Grim. And I'm not talking about you, either. If you don't know where the relic is, then we have nothing left to talk about. I don't know where the Spring Maiden is, either. If you do, I need you to tell me. And why would I do that? Because without her, we're all going to die. <laughs> and which we are you referring to? Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> Training right out the gate. <laughs> Oscar. Hmm. Now that saying was confusing. Because it seems like what people were saying was right. That I've been sort of reincarnated into that kid. Or is it just his consciousness communicating with him? Or I'm not sure. It's a very odd scene. So that's it, guys. All right, guys. So it looks like Yang has finally tried on the arm uh, after struggling with the fact that she lost it. Uh, she was talking about it being the new normal, but it looks like she's finally ready to move forward. Um, we get reintroduced to Yang's mom, Raven. Her and Crow have a conversation. Uh, an interesting one. Uh, she seems kind of cold. She doesn't... She, she believes in the whole survival of the fittest thing. Uh, 
and Crow was talking about how they need to find the Spring Maiden because without her, they're all doomed. Um, turns out that he's also been following Team Ranger, and they're wondering, like, hey, why haven't we been seeing any ground? Well, it's because he has been taking it, taking all of them out along the way. I thought they were just luck. It was actually him. <laughs> uh, we see both of the teachers back, uh, Professor Porter and the, I don't remember what his name is, the green-haired dude. Uh, they both come back and they reminisce with Yang's father. Uh, and then we finally see Yang laugh and smile for the first time <laughs> this volume because uh, she's been depressed and now she's finally ready to move forward. Uh, and I'm tr kind of talking fast right now, but that's because I almost forgot something that I was supposed to be doing, so I gotta go do it. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you on the flip side. Whoop, whoop! I will see you on the flip side. I will see you on the flip side. I'm now in Wild I will see you on on the flip side, flip side, flip side, flip side. I'm now I will see you on the flip side, flip side. I'm now in I will see you on the flip side, flip side. I'm now in I will see you on the flip side, flip side. I'm now in I will see you on.